Hello everybody, welcome to Short Shot Archery, Anthony here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you my personal experience shooting with and without an extension on my stabilizer setup. Now, I've shot with both. Uh, currently, as you can see here, I'm shooting without an extension. But for many years, I have shot with an extension. Uh, the purpose of this video is just for me to share my experience shooting with and without one. Um, I'm not really here to say which one is superior because if you look at like world-class shooters, um, <laughs> there's plenty of medals won with extensions and there's plenty of medals won without them. And this is really just to give you an idea on, you know, testing them out yourself. Like you really should go out there and try both at some point in time if you are very serious about your archery. Of course, you know, get down your basics first and then play with the equipment, but uh, it's, it's definitely something you should uh, experience. Before I get started telling you about my experience shooting with and without an extension, let me tell you what uh, we're using here for a stabilizer setup so you can get some kind of idea on, on what's going on. So I guess we'll start uh, uh, with the front rod. Front rod is a 28 inch shrewd uh, Rev X stabilizer. The side rods are 15 inch uh, shrewd Rev X stabilizers. Uh, they've worked great for me. Uh, 15 might be a little bit long <laughs> on the side rods when you don't have a front extension. Still works though, I've shot tournaments with it. Still does, still does the job, but could be a little bit long for some people's tastes. Again, another thing that you can you know, play around with. Uh, for dampeners, we're using the Biter uh, V-Boxes. Uh, for weight, uh, we actually had to go up weight, and we'll, we'll talk about that when we took off the extension, but we're running about eight ounces up front and about six ounces on the backs. We have Sure Shot Archery tungsten weights and Sure Shot Archery weight caps. Both of them are available at SureShotArchery.com, link down in the description. <clears throat> uh, other than that, moving to the V-Bar, we have a Shrewd Atlas V-Bar. Uh, really solid V-Bar. I personally like it. Uh, probably my, my favorite out of all the V-Bars I've tested. I haven't tested every single one, but for an adjustable V-Bar, I think it does the job. Of course, it would be great you know, if they could make it even lighter and stuff like that, but you also don't want to lose the, uh, the ability or the, the solidness of the build. You, know, you don't want your V-Bar moving when you're trying to shoot a tournament. And then for my extension that you don't see here because it's not on the bow, but I was using a Shrewd Rex extension. Uh, it was the three inch extension. I will have links or at least links to Shrewd but maybe some links on Amazon and stuff where you can actually get pricing for uh, all of these pieces of equipment. Of course, the weights and stuff. I'll have links to my website since I, I sell and make the, uh, the tungsten weights and the weight caps. So now that we got that out of the way, kind of the basis set, you know what equipment I'm using. I use the same equipment for both things, just with and without an extension. First off, life with an extension. Not a bad thing. You definitely want to run a shorter stabilizer like the 28 inches I was running now of course that is going to uh, you know depend on your size me at, at six foot tall 28 inches plus an extension and then all the space the um, V bars hook up and adding weights and things like that and dampeners you know you're starting to get to <laughs> you know 30 35 inches or, or, or so because you figure you got 28, you got another two to three inches worth of, of dampener and weights, another three inches for uh, you know, your extension. Yeah, you could go with a shorter one, but it, at some point you might as well just not run one at all. Um, so, and, then we, and then you got another inch or two for the eye bolt that runs through uh, the V-bar that attaches it all, all together. So you, can, you get, some, get some serious length there. So you definitely need a shorter stabilizer, in my experience, for running an extension. The interesting thing is, is when I took my extension off, I thought, oh no, my stabilizer is going to be super short. And honestly, walking back here, 
without it, it's not uh, it's not too bad, honestly. It may be a little low, but I I didn't really notice a difference with the with the extension. It was probably like uh, like waist level, like just under belly button. Now it's now it's a bit below belly button, but uh, still still in a pretty good spot. Uh, definitely doesn't feel too awkward. I've noticed in the past, you know, having too long of a stabilizer, it's like, oh, if I'm standing like this, uh, my, my stabilizer's probably, probably too long, or I'm like, oh, why is it so short? So, you know, try to get something, you want to scale it to yourself, and then there's some play, it seems like, in between that, but this isn't a video about stabilizer length, but I am, I am just trying to tell you that, you know, be cautious, be, uh, you know, keep in mind that uh, you know, adding and taking off an extension is going to, to, to play with that. And then that is going to directly affect the weight. Because when I was running an extension, I could run a lot less weight on my front rod because it was another three inches out there in front of me. And the further out it is, you know, the more effect that weight is having on you. So when I took it off, I actually had to add uh, two to three ounces more to the front end of my bow in order to balance it back out to where I like it. So when I shoot, it actually swings, uh, you know, the, the amount I want it to swing. You know, I don't want it too aggressive and I don't want it too laid back. So I have a preferred amount of swinging and just overall balance of my stabilizer that I, I personally like. Another interesting thing with running an extension that I found is the extension definitely pushes your, I guess, your center of mass out further, because if you look at it without one, right, most, most of the weight is kind of situated in the center of the bow with, you know, your little uh, weights out on your three corners to kind of, you know, to further balance yourself out. But honestly, most of the weight is sitting right in here. Well, when you start putting this out two, three, four, six, six inches, you are shifting some of that weight forward. Could be good for your shooting. Could not be good for your shooting. Uh, that's you know, that, but that's something you want to also keep in mind, um, and it's something to play with too, because you know maybe some weight a little bit further off, this, you know, from the center of the bow, could be could be helpful for you. Another interesting thing from switching from uh, having an extension to not having one is uh, movement. So, you know, so, some of it is, is, is me, but your, your equipment can uh, exaggerate, uh, you know, problems in your shot too. Or, or, yeah, it can bring things out that were under the surface that weren't a problem, uh, and then they kind of make them a problem. For me, sometimes I would, I'd be up full draw, and I get a little movement in the front. You know, yeah, technically, yes, it's on, it's on me, but, Having that extension out there, well, there's more stuff in front of you, and your center of, of mass is also further in front of you. So when you start moving a little, it really wants to move with you. Um, at least that's been my experience, and taking off the extension actually uh, solved a, a good amount of that. Now, if I still get slop, I mean, you know, do have, have sloppy form, make sloppy shots or whatever. Uh, it's it's not it's not gonna save me. Uh, but I definitely move less now than I did previously when I had an extension. So that that is an, another thing to uh, keep in mind. We got a lot of things you got to keep in mind here. But <laughs> but this is why I, I think experimenting with equipment, you know, is is a really good thing, especially once you got down the basics of, you know, of shooting Olympic recurve. Uh, I think it's a good thing to play with. Now for not having ex an extension, I basically kind of covered everything. Um, you know, weights closer to the bow. Yes, you have to add more weights probably to your stabilizer setup because now everything's closer together. You need more weight to get the same kind of feel. At least that was, that was my case. Um, you know, your V bars could end up being a little too long now. I think mine are still fine. If I had 16 or 17 inch ones, if they, if they, I guess they make those, um, <laughs> then I would probably be in trouble because it would be too much. 
uh, but you can probably get away with even like 12s because again all of this was shifted a good three inches forward and uh, that is not the case anymore because I don't have an extension. Other than that though, very happy with uh, taking it out and um, you know I'd recommend anybody intrigued by it to, uh, to give it a go. So hopefully uh, you found this video helpful. I know I'm not making a firm stance on saying, oh, do this because it's going to you know, help you out. It's just one of those things that, you know, all these years I've been shooting, you just got to try it for yourself and figure out what works for you. Uh, it's great to emulate, uh, you know, your top favorite archer that, you know, that's, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But, you know, you you kind of doing yourself an injustice if you don't experiment for yourself because you know everybody's a, everybody's a little different uh, in their shots and you know their overall equipment setup so it's definitely worth a try so thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe and as always happy shooting